Hello there assassins, welcome back to another Wheel Assassin Guide. We are back with another Stranger Things tutorial for you all today. Uh, I am currently stood outside of 7-Eleven, which will also be coming soon, but today we're going to be building the Todd Father just here. So this is from Season 3 in the scene where Hopper, uh, is it Hopper, Joyce and Alexi, they've kind of escaped from the Hitman Russian guy and um, they've kind of kidnapped Alexi and he's, he's sort of coming out of here and they're trying to look for a car because of course the um, uh, Hopper's police truck is broken and whatnot so they're trying to look for a car to sort of uh, hijack or uh, commandeer and they find the Todd Farber chilling here with the uh, really snotty businessman just here so uh, <laughs> he doesn't really give it up willingly but um, Hopper has his ways of getting things uh, from people and uh, yeah he kind of gets it from from him very very well so we're going to be building the Todd Farber today it's a really really small uh, well Actually, no, it's kind of a medium-sized car, I'd say, and it kind of matches up with um, Hopper's police truck. It's kind of the same sort of size, so if you wanted to build those together on the same sort of roads in your Hawkins, it wouldn't look out of place, which is awesome. But yeah, there's a couple of little details around here. As you can see, we've got the sort of lever uh, back here. You can imagine Alexi in the, the driver's seat are trying to escape from uh, Hopper, Joyce, and... Um, Murray, but he kind of decides against it. <laughs> he knows that he's going to be uh, screwed without them. Uh, and then we have like the license plates and door handles and of course wing mirrors and whatnot as well. So let's just get started. I'm sorry for talking too much. Let's go for it. So coming out the front of this uh, petrol station just here, we're going to take ourselves some blocks of coal, some brown wool, some smooth sandstone slabs, some blocks of iron, some smooth sandstone, some orange stained glass, or you could use yellow. It is for the uh, indicators or the blinkers, as you might say. Uh, some item frames as well. Some white stained glass and some iron bars. My lisp just doesn't do S's, does it? <laughs> Let's go to this side of the road and sort of build it outside of the uh, gas station here. So we're going to go ahead and stick ourselves a block of coal here. Then we want to go ahead and go diagonally in. And we're going to stick one, two, three blocks of brown wall just here. Then I'm going to stick another block of coal here. I'm going to stick another block here and another block here. So we have almost like a bone looking shape just here. We're going to stick item frames on all of our blocks of coal. These are going to be for our hard caps on our wheels, which we'll use for, uh, which will sort of use iron bars to mimic them. And we're going to tilt them on their sides slightly just so that they might look how you'd imagine them to be like in motion or in a parking position or something like that. So you can even rotate these in opposite directions, it won't really matter too much. And actually I think it will help with detail. Next we want to go ahead and take our smooth sandstone slab and place one, one, two blocks forward, one, two blocks back from the actual chassis of the vehicle. Now it's starting to look like a race car. <laughs> Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and peel, uh, build, build? What is build? Let's go ahead and build three sandstone across the wheels there and three out the front. We'll also do ourselves one, two, and three blocks here. One, two, and three blocks here. Then we'll do three barren wool across the back tires. And then we'll do three smooth sandstone across the back bumper. Now it really looks like a race car. Now we want to go ahead and put ourselves an item frame just here. An item frame directly on the opposite side. Then we'll do ourselves one here and one here. One here, here, and a final one in the middle as well. Awesome. We're going to stick ourselves our orange or our yellow stained glass in the sides of the wheels here. So up from the wheels. And these are going to be for our, like I said, indicators or our blinkers. Then we want to go to the back of the car. I'm just going to look everything over really quickly. Making sure we've placed everything that we need to at the moment. But I think we have, which is brilliant. We may as well grab some new materials. Oh, before we do that, let's go ahead and knock out this block in the middle here. Replace it with a block of iron for our sort of engine. Stick an item frame on the front, and then stick your iron bars in here. I also almost forgot the white stained glass. <laughs> we're going to stick these for our headlights up here, like so. Brilliant. Now we're ready to move forward. Let's go for it. So you'll now need to grab yourself an iron trap door, some levers, some stone buttons, some spruce trap doors, red banners, birch signs, glass panes, glass, just a normal glass that is, and then a jungle button as well. We're going to go ahead and put our jungle button in here just for our sort of uh, steering wheel. But we might actually move this forward. Okay, place your jungle button somewhere else for a second. Pick block some sandstone. Place a block there. Grab your button back and place it just here. 
So we only have two blocks in here for our driver's seat. I think that is enough to uh, get us by and I also think it will give us a bit more sort of bumper room up. Uh, bumper room? What am I looking for? What's the term? Hood room, I guess you could say, or bonnet room. Next, we'll go ahead and stick a stone button on this iron block here, again for the engine and also to replicate the uh, sort of car signature logo thing that they have on. You know, <laughs> you know, on like um, Audi, they have the sort of hoops on the front of their cars just so everyone knows it's an Audi. We're kind of doing that with the Todd Farber. I'm not really sure of the vehicle name, so I have to look that up. We're going to stick a lever here and we're going to stick a lever on the other side. So that is actually a block between that last item frame. In this last item frame, stick yourself a jungle button again, and he's going to be for our door handles. Awesome. When they're on their side, they look like door handles, but you can also put them on the opposite side as well. Uh, so it's either or whichever one you prefer. Next, we'll go ahead and take our spruce trap doors and we'll fold these one, two, three over those uh, uh, brown wall. And we'll also fold one down here in for our seat just here. So it gives the leather effect just like so. We're next going to take our iron trap doors and stick one here and here. And then we'll do three across here. One at the front here. Another one just oops in there. And then three around the corner here. Like so. We're going to take our glass now and we'll place three glass just here. And then we'll stick a glass pane here and a glass pane here. Brilliant. Next, if you want to go ahead and take your iron trap doors and fill in this little space with two iron uh, trap doors on both sides, that kind of gives a little bit more of an illusion of a driver's sort of canopy, I guess. Now then, what we're going to do next is take your red banners, and I completely forgot item frames again. I am a donut. I'm going to stick my button there a second, grab an item frame, stick one here and here, place my button back in there, get rid of that one, and stick some red banners on the back bumper just here. That looks really, really cool for some tail lights, but you can also use it uh, maybe an orange color or even a uh, different color entirely, whichever you prefer for your sort of bumper lights. But yeah, that looks really cool. And then one of the final details is to take your birch signs and we're going to stick them iron space along until you get to the second line down on your sign. Then you're going to write a capital T, a zero. We're going to do a D, then we'll do an F. We'll do a T, a H and an R. And that is all you need to write on for your custom license plate for the Todd Farber. You can also write there if you want to, but I'm going to miss it out for my one. So again, front bumper, T, 0, D, F, T, H, R. All in capitals. And there we have the Todd Farber ready and raring to go for uh, national emergencies. <laughs> that is looking cool. Awesome job, guys. Well then, that is it for this wheel assessing guide, guys. I'm really sorry it was a short one today, but I hope you've had fun building, and um, I hope you can add this to your Hawkins now and drive around in some style. You did not see the minecart there. I'm sat in the driver's seat. That's, that's what we'll say. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy, please be sure to drop a like. That'd be really, really helpful, and it'd be awesome to see. If you are new around here, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for checking me out and watching this tutorial until the very end. If you are interested in more Stranger Things tutorials and other tutorials across my channel, please consider subscribing. That would be awesome to have you join the Assassin of today. Until the next time, guys, I will be building 7-Eleven next week. If you want to drop by then uh, to uh, kind of complete your build, then uh, that would be awesome to see you. Take care of yourselves. Check me out on my social medias. We have Instagram, Twitter, and all the other random ones. So please check those out. Links in the description. But I'm going to head off now. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And goodbye for now, Assassins. Thank you so much.